Ugly Duckling, in spite of the name, has nothing to do with swans, ducklings, ugly or otherwise. Uh, it was written by A.A. A. Milne of Winnie the Pooh fame. I had the feeling that A.A. A. Milne took Cinderella and was tired of that same old story and reversed it. She has this princess who is, has absolutely everything in the world. Uh, uh, she's, she's heir to the kingdom. She has wealth. She has renown. But she's ugly from a curse from her fairy godmother. And her fairy godmother didn't want her to grow up with a big head. So when she finds her true love, then all of a sudden she becomes beautiful. As opposed to she was beautiful to begin with and then finds riches. She has the riches first and then becomes beautiful. And it's, it's a play about character as opposed to about dumb luck. Well, the great fact about marriage is that well, once you're married, you live happily ever after. The king and the queen are frustrated trying to marry off their hideously ugly daughter. So their solution is to switch a very pretty handmaiden of the daughter. Let you pretend that I am Prince Simon. <laughs> you are the beautiful Princess Camilla whom he has never seen before. <laughs> The prince who's coming to marry the daughter has done the same thing. He's not so handsome either, so he switched his, yeah, uh, you know, man, manservant. And in the meantime, they think they're marrying each other, while in the recesses of the castle, unbeknownst to anybody, the true princess and the true prince are meeting each other for the first time and they appreciate their true beauty and their true uh, inner good qualities. You keep talking about how light you are. I must see if there's anything in it. Please stand up. Oh, you're right, Dulcibella. I could hold you here forever. 